Hey guys, welcome to another installation of our SharePoint uh, instructional tutorials. Um, in this particular tutorial, we'll basically be demonstrating how you can use or create term store management and keywords in both SharePoint 365 or SharePoint Online and SharePoint On Premise. So, hopefully, uh, you'll enjoy the video, get something out of it, um, and uh, yeah, we'll get started with the video. So in order to manage your term stores in SharePoint, you have to by minimum be a farm administrator um, or a designated term store administrator. And um, yeah, we'll show you where that's done in just a moment. So first thing is navigating over to our site actions gear menu and navigating into site settings. Within site settings, you should notice the term store management option available in the bottom left hand corner. Clicking onto term store management, so the first thing we look to now do is we'll actually look to create the first group. So the group name for this, we could simply call this uh, Corporate Metadata and pressing Enter. Now once that's group created, you would typically have to specify a group manager and click Save. We'll also notice there's this area known as Contributors where you could specify other usernames of people that are able to contribute to your term stores. So once that's uh, been saved, we'll look to right click the corporate metadata group and we're going to create a term set. So for this one, what we could do is we could call this department or departments. Having now created that departments term set, what we could now look to do is specify for this particular option specific terms. So for example, we could create a term called engineering. We could create a term called administration and possibly another called sales, information technology, beg your pardon, information technology and uh, let's create one other called say marketing. So the idea here is what you've done is you've created some management data for a, a term set called departments. Um, let's say you wanted to create one other where you want to create another term set called document type. For that particular term set you can also create terms. So we could say email Correspondence, report, and policy. The great thing about these managed metadata terms is they're going to be usable throughout your site collection and you'll have basically a set of manageable metadata terms. Right, so once that's done guys, let's uh, move on to showing you how this is actually implemented or utilized within a site. Now that we've explored the absolute basics of creating some managed metadata, um, we've navigated to a document library where we're going to create a couple of list columns that are going to use those term stores. So simply, if we were to go to the library tab and create a column, let's say this column was going to be called departments or department. And what we do here is we would choose managed metadata. Navigating to the bottom of the window now, what we'll see is we'll see our taxonomy. Opening it up, we'll see our group that we created called Corporate Metadata, and we'll see our term set. So we'll choose the departments and then click OK. Repeating that process, we'll now look to create another list column. And we'll call this one Document Type. Again, choosing Manage Metadata. And further down the dialog, we'll once again expand our taxonomy and opening up Corporate Metadata and choosing Document Type. Now clicking OK. So the point here being is, if we were to select a document and we were looking to edit its properties, you'll notice in the resulting window we have the choices of defining the department and 
the document type. So remember guys, this is just the absolute basics of managed metadata, but the great thing is um, you can now manage all the terms via the term store management tool. So right guys, thanks for your time and uh, look forward to hearing from you in the future. And uh, that's it for now. Cheers.